I'm off to hit with the pros. The world's oldest and most prestigious tennis tournament, Wimbledon, will kick off this week. And while 15,000 spectators will gather in center court at the All England Club, more than 400 million people will be tuning in from home. So Dave, what are the four Grand Slams? Four Grand Slams are the French Open, which we just finished, uh, Wimbledon, highly anticipated tournament, and followed by the US Open, and then the Aussie. And what's the difference between the four? Like, what are the surfaces that they play on? Well, the surface of the Wimbledon is played on grass, a very fast surface. Uh, the French is played on a slow red clay, mm -hmm. and then uh, Aussie and US Open are played on hard courts. And have you ever played on grass courts? I have. And? It's awesome. So Peter, tell us about lawn tennis, as they call it in English. It's great for serving volleyers and people who are very aggressive. Um, the Brits have always been very good at it. Uh, it's changed a little bit recently. Players are staying back and rallying more from the ground and they're not coming to the net, so it's changed a little bit that way. So whether you're cheering for last year's reigning British champ or this year's French Open winner, what better time to don your tennis whites and host a viewing party? It's always fun to settle on a theme for your party. I chose green and white as the focus for our theme since the All England Club strictly enforces the all tennis whites for the players and the tennis tournament is played on the green grass. Green and white is carried throughout. Anything can be customized to fit your theme. These amazing cupcakes are definitely the centerpiece and they were customized by Eat My Words. Strawberries and cream, a wonderful British dessert of brilliant red strawberries coated with an avalanche of cream. Today they're usually associated with tennis and Wimbledon, but were originally served at many medieval festivals and banquets to celebrate a good summer and general prosperity. Dainty and traditional tea sandwiches never fail to please a crowd. Allow four to six cut sandwiches per person. Choose the best quality bread. Never serve end slices. Bread should be lightly buttered no matter what the filling. Butter should be at room temperature before spreading. Since tea sandwiches should be delicate, cut each sandwich into thirds or quarters or even in half diagonally. You can also use cookie cutters to cut into decorative shapes. Pim's, the most popular drink in England just after tea, is a staple at Wimbledon and it's perfect on a hot English summer's day. Just use one part traditional Pim's number one with two parts lemonade and then feel free to add orange, lemon, apple, cucumber slices and be sure to garnish with fresh mint. 